Let's don't pay people to sit at the house. Let's don't give them bonuses on top of unemployment. But let's go ahead and let them work tax-free, get all that money, but go back to work to get that money. So we don't necessarily control the states, but we control the funding of the states. And that process allows us to encourage free markets and opening back up a business. Hey there, fellow tacticians. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that little notification bell because the more likes and subscriptions I get, the more people see my conservative content, which will make America a better place and angers the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. Oh, hey, Barry, we got you. Excellent. We're doing good. How are you? I'm doing good, buddy. Doing yeah, the good. man of the doing hour, Barry Moore. Anyway. Yeah. Doing you, better now. So, uh, you just found out what? 45 minutes ago that you are the representative for District 2 of Alabama? Yeah, you know, I think it was, we, it's actually, we, I guess they called it probably about 40, 30, 40 minutes ago. I still, we don't know the number exactly, but we've done well in some of the counties, so we're well pleased with the numbers tonight so far. And it's a solid win for our team, solid win. Well, congratulations. I well, think that you. Alabama is going to be far better represented in the second district than it has been in a while. I, I don't know how you want to react to that, but I'm just telling you my opinion on that. Well, I was thinking to myself, no pressure, right? But we're going to do the best we can do, uh, for sure. And so we look forward to the opportunity, and uh, we'll go do the best we can. Well, you know, Barry, I am always skeptical when somebody goes to Washington, even somebody that I know has a strong moral center like you, somebody that, that believes in family values and goes into it conservative. Almost nobody walks out of Washington more conservative than they went in. What would you say to the voters that are concerned about that? Well, I think you just have to look at a track record. I mean, granted, there are people that promise things all the time, and especially mm. people running for office. And Sometimes, to their credit, they think they can make a difference and they, they think they can hold their values. But, you know, to me, it's 2020. This is election year 2020. It's hindsight. It's clear as a bell. Look at what I did in the Alabama legislature. Unwavering conservative. I supported President Trump when nobody thought he had a chance. Fighting for the American people and giving them their voice back is my sole goal for doing this. And so um, I had a friend of mine the other day. We're going to start using this as our slogan. slogan. We want to make the government so smart that it's small that it's not worth corrupting. <laughs> and so, you know, that's a process that's going to take some time. It didn't get like it is right now mm -hmm. overnight. It's going to take some people to go stand on principle. But I think we've proven we're going to do that. I don't see us wavering on that. Yeah. I, and I, by the way, I love that slogan. That's been my philosophy for a long time. Sure. I've always said, well, if our budget was basically nothing, there wouldn't be all this infighting over who gets the money. That's exactly right. And, and of course, the corruption, too, you know, because power leads to corruption and absolute power, absolute corruption. So the more money they take from the taxpayer, the more agencies they create, the more control they have, the more corruption you tend to breed. So, Barry, with the House, what would be the first thing that you would want to do when you get there? Uh, well, I think for us, and, and obviously we've got to see who the speaker's going to be. There's, there's going to be a lot of steps, you know. Mm -hmm. I would love to see uh, Pelosi gone, obviously. Uh, we won't know probably till the next day or two what the, the seats are going to look like. But... I think for us, the first thing that we've got to do is, is get the economy open back up. I mm -hmm. think nationally, it's time we open this thing, get the people their jobs back, get the economy back hitting on all cylinders. And from there, I think it's restoring law and order. I, I think people want to be safe in their homes. They want to be safe in their cities. And that's something that's going to be res our responsibility to, to secure this, the safety of the American people. Well, I totally agree with both of those positions, but I have to ask because I think that this is a question of practicality. As a member of the House of Representatives, if a governor wants to shut down their state, we believe in the 10th Amendment and that they have the right to do that. So how does the House influence something like that if the governor wants to keep the state shut down? Well, we have a say on how we're going to refund it. If, if we're going to use stimulus money, we have a way to how we tie the strings to that. And so my, my saying is, hey, let's... Let's don't let's don't pay people to sit at the house. Let's don't give them bonuses on top of unemployment. But let's go ahead and let them work tax free, get all that money, but go back to work to get that money. So we don't necessarily control the states, but we control the funding of the states. And that process allows us to encourage free markets and opening back up a business. And that totally makes sense. You don't want to be the state's enabler to make allow them to make bad decisions and then bail them out of their own bad decisions. And, and then we put governors in bad spots, too. If we say, oh, we're going to pay your employees or people who are sitting at home, we don't want to pay those people um, the relief money and put it on top of unemployment dollars because there's no motivation to put them back to work. Then that hurts our businesses, that hurts our economy, and people are tired of sitting at home for the most part. They're ready to go back to work. Yeah, I think that, frankly, when this whole thing started, I was like, 
the way we're handling this is so anti-American. Like Americans, we want to pick up our rifles and head towards the beaches of Normandy. That's sure, just that's sure. how we handle crisis. That's right. And, we don't uh, we don't cower in fear, and it's, right. this has been kind of counterproductive to America's just our genetic makeup. To me, mm -hmm. I, I think that's why out of all the countries that attempted shutdowns, we kind of took it the worst and didn't didn't do real well with it. Um, but Barry, uh, on the second thing that you talked about, law and order, that's again, law and order is, is typically something that is done not even at the state level, but at the local level. So what can you as a House member do to try to help reestablish law and order? I mean, aside from the president just calling in the National Guard, what are some steps that you can take? Well, I think some of the things we've got to let these governors and mayors know that if you don't enforce the laws, don't call us when riders tear up your cities. I mean, they want to bail out right after the windows are broken and the buildings are set fire and they've got law enforcement on site and they won't allow them to arrest law breakers. And so at some point, you've got to hold those local governing authorities accountable for the reaction or failure to react when somebody breaks the law. So just like it is in, in every election, there's a winner and a loser. And there's some people that are disappointed that sure. their candidate lost. What would you say to the people that supported your opponent who may feel that you're not going to represent them and represent their values? Well, you know, I think that if anybody knows me, they know I'm a man of faith, number one, and I was called to do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly. So we're not we're, – anybody in the second congressional district, our door is open. And so we're, we're that kind of person, that kind of people, that team that represents the people. No, no, Regardless of party. Regardless of color or skin, whatever the case may be, we're here to serve the second congressional district. Well, that's great to hear, and I got to say, that's a great place to end it. Anybody that can quote not only a Bible verse, but the one that happens to be contained in the Auburn Creed is all right. In my <laughs> amen, so, amen, brother. Thank, thank you. you so much, Barry. We appreciate it. Thank Congratulations. You. God bless you guys. Thank you. Yep. People ask me all the time, Caleb, how do you stay in such great shape? Well, let me tell you, it's not easy. The Secret is a steady diet consisting mostly of likes and subscriptions, especially the ones where the person hits the notification bell. That's what actually gives me my superhuman strength. Likes, as it turns out, are very high in protein and iron. Sadly, doesn't do anything for your hair.